Okay, we have talked about information classification and the fact that doing it uh, will allow you to identify what needs to be protected and how. And of course, doing doing this, do, doing that kind of risk analysis with regard to the information classification does uh, help you in meeting um, compliance and governance requirements. If there is some uh, standard that you need to meet, um, the, uh, you know, you have a credit card uh, use in, in your company, in your business, and therefore uh, you need to, to meet the BCI DSS standards, then having uh, the information classification, doing the information classification, allows you to ascertain much more readily whether or not you are going to be in, in compliance with those requirements and any others that you may need. Um, so there, you know, it, it's not just extra work here. It does have reasons. It does have value. Now, in terms of value, what are the factors that affect the valuation and evaluation of your information? Um, what is it that uh, makes it valuable? Well, first off, uh, I, I suppose we've got to ask the question, what is information? And this is probably what makes it so hard, is we really do not know what information is. We don't have a uh, good uh, idea uh, of what information is, what makes it valuable, what, um, <clears throat> what, what actually it is. You know, it, it's very strange stuff. Um, when somebody steals information from you, you've still got the information. Uh, when you sell information to somebody, you still got the information, and you can sell it again to somebody else um, within limits. Uh, and that's you know one of the the factors uh, that affect the valuation is what does the restriction of information do to the value of that information? In some cases restricting the information actually makes it less valuable. Um, we have situations, for example, like social media, where the more people who are discussing something, uh, the more people who are sharing certain types of information, the more valuable it becomes. So it's, it's very odd stuff. It's, it's really strange, and, and we need to do that. You know, uh, information is... We, we, sort of realize that it's more than data, but it's less than knowledge. Um, uh, as I'm doing this, uh, GPT-4 has just come out, and everybody is going gaga over this latest uh, example of the large language models. Um, and, and these, you know, these pattern models are impressive, yes, but are they intelligent? No, because, I mean, you know, Yes, it takes data, and it provides, in a sense, information. Not always reliable information, but information. But there is no knowledge behind it. There's no understanding. There's no comprehension. So you can uh, ask it a question, and because of its own limitations, it will give you an answer, um, but not understand that its answer is fundamentally flawed. Um... So, uh, lots of, uh, you know, scope there. You know, it's, it's information but not knowledge. And, well, as uh, somebody has said, uh, information is organized data. And wisdom is organized life. Uh, so we need to, to look at those uh, aspects and, and try to figure out uh, and, and, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy. You know, we're getting into areas of epistemology. Um, 
and philosophers have been arguing about that for centuries. So, uh, but some of the factors, there, there is, of course, the good old triad, the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of the information. What does confidentiality do for the value of the information? What does availability do for the value of the information? And different types of information, that, that answer is going to be different. Uh, what does integrity do to the value of the information? And certainly a lack of integrity uh, pretty much always has a, a negative impact. It, until you get to something like differential privacy. And then in order to protect the, the privacy of the individual, you actually add noise to the answers. And so we are degrading the integrity of the individual queries and answers in order to enhance the overall value of the system. So, you know, really interesting stuff. But um, there is going to be some time sensitivity to the information. What is the value of yesterday's stock market pages in the newspaper? Well, you can wrap fish with it. What is the value of tomorrow's stock market results, if you could get hold of them? That would be very valuable indeed. Um, is replacement possible? You know, is it even possible? Or, you know, if, uh, if it's possible, how much is it going to cost us to replace this information? Um, what uh, kind of impacts are there going to be on our businesses if this information is disclosed, if, uh, if it's modified, if it's not available to us? You know, we, we have to ask those questions. Uh, what kind of opportunities do we lose if the information is not available to us? Uh, and... Those, those questions and answering those questions are going to start to provide us with an idea of what the value of the information is and the, the value of the various security measures that we take with regard to that information and protecting that information in a variety of ways.